The Prime Minister continuing the push to bring awareness to the plight of the Bahamas and other small countries susceptible to the ravages of climate change. Addressing an international conference yesterday, he detailed the country's plan to benefit from efforts to mitigate the issue through carbon credits. Here's Cleopatra Murphy. Small island developing states like the Bahamas continue to be disproportionately impacted by climate change, despite contributing little to the greenhouse gas emissions fueling the problem. That according to Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis, who addressed the seventh ministerial meeting of the Coalition of Finance Ministers for Climate Action Tuesday. In the Bahamas, he stressed the 2019's Category 5 Hurricane Dorian is a prime example, having cost the country an estimated $3.4 billion in loss and damage. As a country, on the front line of climate change, we believe it is of the utmost importance to keep the global goal of 1.5 degrees Celsius within reach, as this is a critical threshold to ensure the survival of small island developing states and least developed countries. An important tool for achieving this goal is the mobilization of climate finance to ensure that countries can meet national mitigation and adaptation targets. Davis informed the body of the Bahamas' intention to table legislation that will allow for the participation in the global carbon market. He says carbon mitigation measures outlined in the Paris Agreement are important in addressing the climate finance gap. A multilateral approach to addressing carbon pricing will be key. And it is crucial that there is fairness and equity in carbon pricing across various compliance and voluntary markets. The price of emitting a ton of carbon in the global north should not differ from the price in the global south. In the face of the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, Prime Minister Davis says addressing energy security should not come at the price of devaluing decarbonization efforts. He insists the value of oil, gas and coal cannot increase in value without having an impact on the cost of carbon credits. Energy security and energy independence go hand in hand. Governments, regional blocs and other multilateral institutions must show that they are willing to use regulatory levers to limit emissions and to incentivize the use of market-based emission reduction measures, which will support national decarbonization efforts and increase the value of carbon prices. As with Hurricane Dorian, he says countries like the Bahamas have repeatedly borne the brunt of the financial shock associated with climate change and must position themselves to profitably participate in global carbon market initiatives. Cleopatra Murphy, SNS Network News. Throughout our lifetime, we must all make decisions. No matter how we choose, the right one just needs to be made. Like having J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers as your insurance partner. We've been serving the Bahamas for over 100 years. Whether you need home, motor, marine, or commercial insurance, make the right decision. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S.J., Johnson Insurance. Peace of mind.